I would say it was uh, three months ago. They were picked up by animal services uh, in Osteen. Uh, they were abandoned at the end of someone's driveway and uh, they were picked up and taken to animal control and they're pretty much inseparable. They were found together and the dachshund absolutely loves this kitten, which the kitten has some health issues, obviously. And we named them Iggy and Ruth after fried green tomatoes because of the special bond that they have. We've had uh, bonds between animals. I don't know that we've ever seen anything quite like this with a cat and a dog. Um, I know that it does happen, but this is pretty special. When she gets, uh, when Iggy gets a new toy, she always takes it over to the cat, uh, Ruth, and uh, they pretty much share everything. And anytime there's a dog that comes in, <laughs> Ruthie is always first there on the scene to make sure that she is the buffer between any dog and the cat. Of course, they're in the X pen here during the day, so there's no threat to uh, Ruth. Well, we do adoptions through animal services. Uh, we've been doing that since 2007. Uh, we also do adoptions through other rescue groups as well. So it was um, when they have something that may require a little extra attention, um, it's not uncommon for them to give us a call. Well, we've decided to, um, we've adopted them here ourselves at Hollywood Hounds. And they get lots of attention. So we're making up for lost time of anything that they may have lacked. Um, we like to say that they've got about 14 mummies here that uh, every time Iggy goes out, she gets a smooch. <laughs> Someone's constantly babying Ruth. And so it's, it's a lot of attention, almost around the clock. Customers that come in just to see them, and uh, they pet them. We've had customers bringing them in Christmas gifts. It's, it's just been very touching.